wow. Wow, what a change. I gotta say, I'm outside. <laughs> I'm outside in the pouring rain, in the snow, in the sleet, in the hail. And I'm actually running or <sighs> walking very fast, which is something that I can't really do because I run out of oxygen and kill my brain further and my other cells. But anyway, uh, I spent last night screaming and moaning in agony. Ah! Uh, uh, you know, it gets down to a low whimper and the, the medicine finally takes effect and, and you go to sleep and, and you wake up screaming and vomiting and shitting on yourself. And Oh, it's just a wonderful experience, I'm telling you. So, uh, in my lover's great wisdom, she said, honey, stay home. Don't go out in this weather. Uh, you have some extra medicine. You don't have to go in today. I'm like, oh, thank God. So I'm sitting comfortably at home, making a video to tell about how I couldn't make a video because they were killing me. And uh, then she called me up and said, quick, you gotta come in. They're giving away the medicine for the weekend and the long weekend and it's a holiday and, oh. Uh, these people, they know all this stuff, and they time these attacks. You know, they time these attacks with crises, crises in your life that they invent, or that you invent, or that, that are, whatever. Sometimes they're able to make crises, sometimes you make them. Anyway, the crises, whoa. And the, um, and the sickness, you know, making you so sick that the next day you have something really important you gotta do and, and you can't do it. You can't do it because you're too sick. And, and there are those of you, and those of us, I, I used to be one of them, who said, it doesn't matter how sick I am, it doesn't matter what, you know, what's going on. I gotta do what I gotta do. I gotta pay the bills, I gotta, you know, whatever the fuck it is. So, if that's what you gotta do, you gotta do. And, uh, you know, I got people eyeballing me like, ooh, yeah, I can get that iPhone. Blah, blah. Fucking crazy neighborhood I live in. Fucking Bushwick, Brooklyn. All kind of evil motherfuckers out here. No, I'm just kidding. It's a really wonderful place with wonderful people and the police are really friendly and nice and helpful. Uh, yeah, actually, what's happening here in New York is that um, gentrification, the rich landlords have discovered that, gee, people can't live in the city anymore. Where are we gonna put them all? Well, they're gonna live in the, out in Brooklyn and Bronx and Queens. So, this is one of these neighborhoods that it's like been its way, you know, for the last 25 years. It's been like little old Spanish people and families and a few Italian people and some black people and very few white people. Uh, but now they're buying up all the buildings and ripping them down or gutting them and tearing them out and putting new people in tripling the rent you know you have any idea how many times we had a room and they've been like well we gotta go because the landlord is tripling the rent like that whole story about it's gonna be harder for a rich man to get into heaven than for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle wow well these days they're gonna make a nano camel and they're gonna pass it right through that needle Anyway, this was one of the worst, uh, worst ones yet, man. The high frequency, this one I'd never heard before. This was like the loudest. And I'm sure they're all clapping their hands and, and rubbing their cocks and fucking, uh, congratulations. You know, they managed to suck another life away. I mean, fucking energy vampires, man. You know, think about this. 
we've been going through this whole what is evil and and looking into the, the New Testament Bible and the old works and the Apocrypha and the Book of Enoch and all this crazy shit. Uh, I don't know the story. But a lot of weird shit is going on. And I think they want to make us I guess believe that this is what's happening uh, and it may find we may find out that that all that pretending made it happen you know um, anyway this was the most horrible attack yet and you know I wake up with this horrible screaming sickness it's I don't know, just thank your lucky stars if you're not a victim. And, uh, you know, find truth. Find truth in God, find truth in life, in the Creator. Because we were created, man. We were not fucking evoluted or whatever. We were created. And that's what makes this whole thing even weirder when you start figuring out what's what might be really going on. Anyway, I made it. Thank you for listening. God bless you all. I'm gonna go get my medicine.